as you're well aware, the festival of Halloween is fast approaching. And as you may be even more well aware, the great American presidential election is looming large on the immediate horizon. But what most people may not be aware of is that this is the time of year of the great ancient Celtic feast that was known as Samhain. And Samhain marked the beginning of the Celtic New Year. Samhain was celebrated on the eve of the end of October into the start of November. And Samhain marked the beginning of this great cycle of preparation for the imminence of the divine that uh, comes to life at the darkest time of the year, culminating in the winter solstice, which we know as the Christian festival of Christmas. So the Samhain festival has so much to tell us, so much to teach us about how to approach the closing of one cycle and setting the intention, making a mark that will set an intention for the new season that has yet to emerge, that we hope will emerge in our lives. Samhain was a great festival of fire, lighting a fire in the dark, lighting a candle, acknowledging that there is a need for us now at this time of the year in the northern hemisphere, of course, uh, darkness is falling fast and the evenings are quickly disappearing. The mornings are dark when we wake up. So we are drawn indoors more. And when we're indoors, we need to uh, create our own source of illumination. The external light is no longer present. And now we're asked to create a light from within. So this is a great time to focus on fire and of flame. And of course, that's the metaphor of what is it that sustains us? What is the light that we're holding within us that can be brought out to illuminate and warm the surroundings, not only of ourselves, but of those um, who we love and hold dear, those who we wish to help and share in the bounty of whatever resources we have st stored and harvested, hopefully, during more abundant and bountiful times. So all of these themes are invited for us to explore. They make an invitation for us to explore at this time of year. And uh, when we go deeper into it and we look at, for example, Halloween, Halloween is a great celebration of all that is ghoulish and scary and ghostly. And again, that goes back to the old Celtic Feast of Samhain, where this was a time to really be mindful of our ancestors and those who have passed, those who have passed over. This was a time in Ireland where people would go visit the graves of loved ones and tend to the graves and clean them and um, look after them and really commune with people who had passed over and have a good old conversation with them, a good old chat, good old chat with them. It's a time where old ghosts can be laid to rest if we give them what they come knocking on the door looking for. And if we don't give them that little offering, you can be sure that there will be repercussions and those ghosts will continue to haunt us until we put them to rest and honour them and treat them and welcome them to our table. So it's a great time of year to be mindful of that, to be mindful of things that we regret, perhaps things that we um, feel shame or fear around and to face those and to sit them down with us and to send them off on their way for a whole new season. So this is also a great time of family and thinking of loved ones who have passed and uh, communicating with, with them, trying to listen deeply to see if there is a message coming from that part of ourselves represented in the voice of a loved one. And um, 
Also, of course, at this time, it's another invitation to consider our own mortality. And perhaps one day, uh, or certainly one day, where we'll have to <laughs> make that journey ourselves, imagining what that would be like. And of course, those these ideas where we can imagine our own mortality only bring great vividness to our lives um, around us. Um, and in doing all of this, of course, what we're doing is we're setting, uh, we're setting the ground, we're putting things to rest, we're giving things a break for, in the hope that new growth will spring from this darkness, that the seeds that we put down in the quiet, in the darkness of the earth, we say the prayer over those seeds that one day, hopefully, they may bear fruit. So it's a great time to imagine um, and bring our imaginative faculties into play. The imagination is something that is not visible in the external world. The imagination exists actually in the darkness of our own minds. The imagination resides within our bodies. So how can we um, create a space for our imagination to take flight and to communicate that imagination to others. And finally, of course, this is the time where we must do this in community and come together and share in the light and the harvest and the stores that we have to offer. Or perhaps we need the help of others, that our own uh, resources may be depleted at this time, and this is a time where we must ask for help from those who have um, uh, maintained um, and been fortunate enough and blessed enough to be able to share with us and which we in turn one day will return, uh, will share again. So this is a time to imagine what that looks like in community. Well, uh, who are the immediate people around us that we can give a helping hand to? Who are those that we need to ask help from and uh, what fun, what games, what jokes, what tricks, what treats can we gift each other. So those that's a little quick whistle stop uh, blast through some of the themes that we're going to be exploring in song and story and poetry and mythology and a bit of family banter in our upcoming Dov Imel, the Hedge School. We had a great first semester of Hedge Schools. We did about 13 courses in the first um, six months of uh, the various forms of lockdown. And now we're entering into the second semester and we're starting with Samhain, with this Feast of Halloween. So it'll be wonderful uh, for you to join us. I know a lot of our great community um, have jumped right in to this um, series of, of workshops together. And it'll be the first of many again. So yeah, wishing you all the best, wishing you all the best, all of the blessings and the joys and even a little bit of a, even a little scream around the time of Halloween. So who knows what the future will hold. But together and with the knowledge and the wisdom that has been passed on to us, we will more than endure and indeed we will flourish. Thank you very much. <laughs>